Unprecedented tutorial rains plagued parts of United Arab Emirates underwater last week, bringing life to a standstill in Dubai and elsewhere. A far house of heavy rain gushed over a large portion of the UAE and Dubai, the country's most populous city, recording a year's worth of rain in just 12 hours as areas further east recorded nearly two years' worth of rain in under 24 hours. Floodwaters rose quickly and were slow to recede as a result of the historic rains, which were extreme in the country since records began 75 years ago. Researchers claim that these floods should have been avoided. Religious leaders, on the other hand, say that the floods are a sign of Jesus' second coming. Zoe Ministry under Prophet Elvis Mbonye say that Prophet Mbonye foresaw these rains that would pound Dubai. In a recording dated 6th December, Mbonye is seen saying that the times have come when the people's glory will be exposed that they will have to turn to the Lord. Do you see Dubai there? Wait and see the news that is going to come from there. And you see it? It's going to appear like, you mean all this has been fake? And I'm telling you, and that will be a sign for you to you to realize that in your midst the Lord your God has positioned himself just for you to rise up and rely on what is more real. In Uganda however researchers and climate change activists say it's time to preserve the environment, put up drainage systems and plant trees to preserve the environment. Uh, especially we're expecting uh, enhanced rainfall, near uh, enhanced rainfall, meaning that we're expecting some good amount of rain, especially in the month of April. And uh, what does it mean to the people of Waise? Because you know Waise is always a flooded area. So people here, they need to prepare, especially when these rains are coming. So they should have, uh, they should actually know what is going to happen. No. The, the, the environment is changing because our people are cutting trees for fuel. But we want to ensure that we advise them, we sensitize them to be able to preserve the environment, plant more trees, and not necessarily, I mean, bush burning has been very common, actually been a tradition here. So issues with bush burning should actually be stopped, and this goes a long way, ensure that we sensitize people on climate change.